This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I want to cover this article here called Kamel Nanjiani Hits Out at Ricky Gervais for Normalizing Harmful Ideas with Comedy. And of course, I disagree with Nanjiani's statement. Hollywood star Kamel Nanjiani is taking a hit at Ricky Gervais and calling him out over his offensive comedy. Now wait, here's my thing, man. I don't like to call literally anybody who works on a few things here and there a star, quote-unquote. I like to reserve star for more household names. Tom Cruise is a star. Michael Jackson is a star. Even someone like Vin Diesel is a star. I mean somebody like everybody knows is taking a hit at Ricky Gervais and calling him out over his offensive comedy. The Oscar-nominated actor blasted Gervais, who is known for calling out celebrities with an offensive twist to his comedic ways, saying he has been normalizing harmful ideas. Speaking at the Comedian Roundtable with The Hollywood Reporter, Gervais confessed that he was taken aback to see that people believe a joke is the window to a comedian's true soul. I wouldn't quite believe that either. As Gervais will get into, sometimes you just make a joke for the laugh and you don't mean it whatsoever. There is another phrase more commonly, there's truth behind every joke. I guess I could meet that one halfway. I mean, sometimes there is, but I think other times you can just purely joke about things. A big part of my comedy is saying things that I do not mean. I say the wrong thing because I know the audience knows the right thing, and that's why they laugh, he went on to say. I'll change the joke halfway through. I'll pretend to be right wing, left wing, no wing, if it makes the joke funnier. People who think I'm going to change the world with a gag are really delusional, he added. Yeah, I mean, there is this thing where a lot of people kind of feel like Ricky Gervais is this hero against woke culture, cancel culture, things like that. And, to an extent, he is. Because I always say, whether you mean the joke or not, you're still saying it. You're still saying the right things, so that's definitely commendable. But I think, I think that at heart, he's a comedian, he wants to make people laugh, and he's probably not seriously taking a political side. Having said that, Ricky Gervais seems like a common sense guy who gets what's going on in the world, so I think common sense people generally are against woke culture, cancel culture, things like that. Nanjiani asked Gervais how he feels when people assume the things he says on stage is how he actually thinks. Gervais responded saying, The fact is if I play to 15,000 people, there are going to be rapists, pedophiles, murderers. That someone might take you at face value doing an ironic joke or a satirical joke. Well, yeah, some people try to inject themselves with bleach. There are stupid people in the world. So, I think what he means by that is that, you know, there's millions and millions of people. There's going to be a small portion of people who take it seriously, who don't understand it. But, I mean, that's just life. That's just reality. That's what happens. There's no way to make 100% of people understand comedy and jokes and what you're getting at. There's always going to be some kind of misunderstanding. Nanjiani went on to argue, but if you're making some sort of joke where obviously you don't believe it, but the point of view of the joke is that it's good that these people are marginalized, I do think that can normalize ideas that would otherwise societally be considered harmful. But I mean, what can't normalize ideas? If a joke could normalize something, pretty much any other way to say it could normalize it too. I would say a joke could maybe have the opposite effect. If people see you're joking about something, maybe that would mean it's not the norm. I'm just of the opinion a joke's a joke. And I think these days people don't really know how to take jokes so well. It seems like everyone's getting offended over something. And I think like the offended part of it is what's really screwing things up. Imagine nobody got offended. If I said something someone didn't like, they found insulting, they just said, hey man, you know, you shouldn't say that, here's how I feel. And I said, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I meant this. Okay, that's it. It ends. But if someone stays seriously offended and pissed and mad, well, that just causes conflict. That just causes fighting. And then things don't always work out right. I mean, I'm not saying people can't get offended at all. 
that they should take literally everything laying down, but it should take a lot to offend someone. And I would say if you get offended, it should be directed at you, not just like a general joke about somebody and it offends you because you assume they're talking about someone like you. So yeah, basically, I agree 100% with Ricky Gervais on this one. I see what he's saying. Comedy's comedy. Like he said right here, I'll pretend to be right wing, left wing, or no wing if it makes the joke funnier. And basically, that's what a comedian does. They make the joke funnier. So you guys let me know down below who you agree with. I'm doing pop culture, Amber Heard vs. Johnny Depp, some Ricky Gervais. If you're not subscribed here, consider subscribing. If you don't subscribe, well, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.